Happy Turkey Day. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who celebrate. Um, yeah, for those who celebrate. Um, Fine day out here. Uh, ben and I were up way too late playing D and D. Uh, it, it happens. Uh, it's, a, it's past time. It's not late anymore. It's not late anymore. So we got up um, relatively early for us. Grabbed some breakfast sandwiches from a fast food joint. Kids got to try them for the first time. They were pretty psyched. And uh, now we're moving another beam in. Um, we had a beam over here ready to go and then we found that we had done the wrong corner so it is now over there awaiting <laughs> and uh, we're gonna try to get this sucker into place um it goes the same way all the other ones are so um enjoy Hear you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Let's see how close he lets me get. I feel like I say a lot on this channel, but do you see him? Here, let me see. Him. a birch that we dropped. Mm -hmm. Might have even been last year before we had the guy come and drop all the trees because this is one of the ones that Ben dropped. White birch that was hanging over uh, the, the job site and we dropped the opposite direction. This little guy has been out here a lot lately. Doesn't seem to care much as long as we're on the driveway. He just goes about his business. It's pretty cool. You need to shim a little bit. Not bad though. Uh, I'm off by like a quarter inch. Yeah. But it's probably because this isn't actually a four by five. It's slightly off, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that's not a problem. No. We got plenty of scrap wood. So we can do am it. Am I too close? I am. There we go. Do you want me some spruce? Yes. Gonna get these locked into place. And now that's four out of six of the verticals. And that's three different girts. How many do you need? Two for that side? Yep. Okay. Yeah, the the thing with natural uh, materials, yet again, is you can order a beam uh, and ask that it be a specific size. And he might mill it slightly off, might be a little under, might be a little over. Uh... Uh... The person could mill it appropriately and it shrinks. No, you, you never know what's going to happen with your wood when it's, when it's um, green wood. Um, which is fine. It's going to be everything that twists and dries and gets funky. It's all going to be twisting into itself. Which actually um, assists in the... Oh gosh... Freak me out doing that. <laughs> yeah, well, I better get good at it. Yeah. Uh, it actually assists in the, um, the, uh, how strong everything ends up being because, well, everything is twisting into itself, turning into itself, 
and it kind of holds itself into place, which is pretty cool. In some of our first videos um, up here, when we're doing driveway work, I am standing next to a big hemlock. Uh, I believe I was leaning up against this hemlock when um, I found that tick on me and told everyone I was going to burn it all down. <laughs> uh, this is what's left of that hemlock. We're currently burning it out. It's um, going really well. It's nice and warm. It keeps us nice and warm while we're out here, which is very nice. Uh, even on days like today where it's it's getting pretty close to 50, so I, I it's not really, no one's standing by it for warmth anymore, but that's nice. And uh, the rest of this hemlock is all here. It's these beams. It's holding up our house. I, uh, I'm really glad that we get to have these forever pieces of that tree because we've had many a picnic under that tree really enjoyed that tree while it was here and now it's a forever part of our of our tiny home <laughs> another random stone find thanks to breakage from the fireplace this rock is um still wedged under the root of the tree we're burning out, but this is what it looks like. It has these crazy, almost red-like polka dots. Really cool coloration. So I did not take video up until this point because yeah. there was lots of swearing. You know what? It was, it was perfectly uh, reasonable swearing because uh, the other day when we were out here working, suddenly we had no power. And um, we're not sure if it was the GFCI that was not good or the, um, this thing, Ben, this breaker. thing, breaker, thank you. <laughs> but we switched out both and Ben rewired and it was a hold your breath and hope and pray and think good thoughts and click your heels and sprinkle fairy dust and all that noise uh, to make sure that our electric still worked. And it does now, um, which is wonderful. And we were really concerned and we're feeling so excited and festive that uh, <laughs> we're setting up lights. <laughs> it's also like the, is electric on? Oh yeah, we can see that from the road. <laughs> um, yeah, there was a lot of swearing. It was not uh, it was not YouTube safe, so that uh, that did not end up getting recorded because it was it was a mess. But pretty much been rewired um, and replaced, and it's working now. And the GFCI GFCI G, GFCI. Got it. Okay. I'm saying it feels like I'm I saying it wrong. Say GFI, which isn't wrong, but yeah, the GFCI in here actually has a little light next to it now, so that we can see if it's Green, it's on. You can show me. Yeah. Suddenly, I want to open it on that side every time. <laughs> see the little see green it? light over there. That's nice. Little green light. Yep. And a little moisture in the conduit, but from what I can tell, that's normal. Conduit's really there just to prevent the wires from getting destroyed. Um, hey Ben, you're wearing a hat. Is it cold out? Frack! It's cold. <laughs> I was gonna, holy frell, it is freezing. Oh, I'm still wearing your hat. Mm. <laughs> I brought him a hat Wouldn't and I put on his other hat. the case. It is. Um, yeah, so I don't know what else we're doing today, but. I think we're going home. We did that. We pulled a sleeping baby. We do, yeah. <laughs> em is in the car, which is right here, and uh, is sleeping. And I, it's one of those you I do not wake. This is a victory. We get scaffolding Saturday. <gasps> we're getting so, scaffolding Saturday. Uh, thank you to a friendly member of our community. Yes. Uh, we are borrowing some scaffolding from someone who I think has a painting business. Um, I think so. And so he's going to come drop that off for to him. us <laughs> this coming Saturday. Sorry we didn't release a video last week. Um, things got a little chaotic, as they tend to in our lives. Um, I just figured out. I'm... 
chewing gum. I'm chewing gum on <laughs> camera. <laughs> Spitting is much better. Uh, so yeah, things tended to get a little chaotic last week, and we just we just didn't we didn't get to it with work and other things. Um, so it's been it's um as my mom put it today on the phone, um, the camel's back is officially broken, <laughs> and. We, we cannot have any more straw. Multiple surgeries and re-injuries. Yeah, um, no, no, yeah, no more so. straw for the camel's back. Thank you very much. Either way, we'll, uh, we're going to get a video out this week. Yes. Even if it's short. Yes. Uh, you know, happy, happy Turkey Day. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who celebrate. Um, yeah, for those who celebrate. Um, uh, we, uh, we, of course, honor um, our uh, First Nations people who were here before the, the chaos that ensued. And, um, you know, we, we, we find it important to teach our kids about that during the uh, Turkey Day festivities, mm -hmm. um, which in our house is just making a big burden eating it at the table because we're just, you know, well, this year it's just the five of us. Yeah, it's just us, which is uh, how we did it for the whole time we were in Arizona for many, many years. Bye. Uh, so we're getting back to our roots um, and uh, just having it be just us and us talking to the kids about um, what foods we are eating that are um, thanks to the Native Americans that lived in this area. Um, there are still some of them here today, um, though sadly not as many as there should be. Um, and we discussed them and the different tribal um, situations that they were in. It was mostly fishermen through here because um, we are off of the Connecticut River. Uh, and they lived off of the bounty of the Connecticut. I'm not sure what the Connecticut River was um, named before it was the Connecticut River. Uh, maybe I will give that to the kids for homework <laughs> for tomorrow. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna go home because it's fixed and it has power and that's great because we're doing a lot of work up there. We need the power. It's making it go much, much faster, so. It's Thanksgiving and our um, turkey is in the oven. And as promised, uh, I did a little research with the kids, the older kids, and we found that the Connecticut River was called the Quenny Took River. Well, probably not river because it means long river. So I think river is implied. But um, that's what the Connecticut River was called by the Abenaki people. There are still some Abenaki today. Uh, they are doing uh, amazing work in trying to bring back um, a lot of the um, natural processes that they used to upkeep the rivers, the waterways. They were a water people above all else, um, as well as establishing um, seed banks for heritage vegetables that they grew here. Um, you can thank them for a lot of our squashes and um, beans that we enjoy today, as well as obvious, <laughs> obviously, you know, corn as we know it. Um, all of the people in this area uh, all grew those items. So um, today, while we enjoy some turkey and some time to sit with family, we also reflect that we weren't always here. We're here now, and we can do our best to remember those who came before us. <laughs>